We went to a replacement depot uh, up near Liège, Belgium, and uh, I, they loaded me up into a truck, and we drove for quite a ways, and, and then they they dropped off some of the guys at a, another division uh, center, and then they put us in a smaller truck, and we kept going toward the front line, and. Pretty soon, it was, this was at night, I would see a flash of light on the horizon, and I could hear boom, boom, boom. And as we got closer, uh, the, the boom, boom, booms got louder, the flashes got brighter, and then, that's the first time I really realized that, hey, boy, this is a war, there's a war going on, and those are guns, and those are shells, and you're going toward that. And I say that was the first time I really realized and thought about it that this is this is not funny. It's not practice anymore. This is the real thing. We got up a little farther and they they dumped some more of the guys out of the truck and and a jeep then picked me up and two other guys and we drove and drove and drove and then they had to turn the lights out because of you know didn't want to be spotted. And we reached a, a little wooded area, and the fellow on the jeep said, this is the end of the jeep ride. We're going to walk from here on. And then we could really hear the, the artillery going back and forth. And he, he led me down a little path through some trees, and he dropped off these other two guys, and I'm the last one. And he said, follow me. We've got a little ways to go yet. So I walked and walked and walked. And we got to a place, and he said, here's a hole. I want you to get in that hole tonight, and I'll be back in the morning and talk to you, and we'll get things going. So I spent the night, and I heard every little crack in the trees and the leaves, and, uh, and I, I'm just visualizing or picturing in my mind that there's a bunch of Germans down there with guns, and I made it through the night, but in typical infantry operations, they do the, the leapfrog maneuver. One unit takes a, a town or a, or a hill. We were about to take a river, and uh, we st had stopped. The, the, my group had stopped, and the group behind us moved through us, and they went on and took control of the river. I then, I'm in my hole, the daylight starts, and here comes these guys behind me, and one of them got hit, and he fell, kind of fell into my hole, and I was in there trying to dress that. He had gotten the hunk of the side of his back hit, and I was trying to stop the bleeding, and not and being a, just a raw rookie and and it had been there one night and uh doing my best to to get the blood stopped and he said he wanted one of the cigarettes and so i lit him up a cigarette and the smell of that blood and that smoke put off a, an odor that every once in a while i'll smell and it, it'll take me right back to that to that moment in that hole. And anyway, we got, we got him, got the medics, come get him. And, uh, and then the sergeant, the squad leader, came in and introduced himself to me and, and chit-chatted and said, it's, it's not a picnic up here, it's going to be tough, but uh, we're going to make it. And he said, right now, you, you, that'll be your hole until we, uh, we make our advancement.